Hello boys and girls, Waddy here. Spring has finally sprung in Scotland, so I thought I'd get out and uh, film one of my little tricks for you. This is how to spool up your bait caster with full of braid. None of this putting your braid in a bucket of water or any of that sort of stuff. You don't want to underfill your spool, you don't want to overfill it. So here's a trick to get all of your braid that you've bought. This is 150 meters worth, fitting snugly, perfectly, beautifully onto your new reel. Let's do it. So, I've picked myself up a beautiful new custom rod, full of tricks. So, I thought I'd lash out and get myself a decent reel. And you kick ass reel. Absolute virgin stuff has never seen a fish. Now, this is only 150 meters long. I've got a feeling if I start spooling this braid directly onto the uh, spool, it's not going to fill out the entire spool. So I'm going to have less line capacity than this reel is actually capable of. So the idea is to have a big reel so it's strong for casting large lures and a lot larger line capacity. So how do we make this fill out the entire spool? We want to add some mono underneath. But you'd have to estimate how much mono you put underneath the braid to have it fill right out beautifully to the edge. Or you can use this little trick. This is cheap clear mono monolith fish eagle. <laughs> as cheap as you can get. Only a couple of quid this one. And this is going to go down as a bed and then we're going to put the braid on. How do we figure out how much we need? Here in lies the trick. First we're going to get the braid and get that tied onto the spool first. That's not how it's going to end up, but trust me, this will work. Now we can tie this on any old hair because it's not going to stay on there forever. I'm terrible at tying knots in braid. Beautiful. Next step, get a little uh, wooden spoon or a pen or Get your woman to hold something for you. Stick your spool on. And now, first of all, we're going to fill up the entire spool with the braid we want. Doesn't have to be laid perfectly. You can stick it on your rod to make things a little easier to handle. Bit of tension on there, so it's uh, close to real life as you're going to get. If it starts filling up one side of the spool more than the other, simply move your fingers to whichever side needs it. That should sort it out. Getting towards the end, try and get it as even as possible by moving your fingers to whichever side of the spool is a bit under. Yeah, it's about as good as we're gonna get, I think. There is the end. Okay, got a couple of mil on this side and a little bit on that side, could be better. So now we attach the monofilament, cheapo mono, to the end of your braid. This knot will be staying on the reel indefinitely, so make it a good one. And for this knot, I use a double uni knot, I think it's called. Try not to make it too big and bulky because you don't want a little lump in the middle of your spool. It might hamper your casting and things in the future. Trim those ends off nice and close because if uh, wouldn't worry about any slippage or anything if a pike manages to get you this far into your uh, backing. I'd be starting to stress a little bit. 
Okay, so that's our mono connected up to our braid. And it's just going to give us our final little top shot, which will be the bottom shot. So we can tend to fill it up just a tiny bit more than you would like to cast with. Because you can always trim a small amount of that braid off at the end to get things just tickety-boo. Now we've got 150 meters of braid on our brand new reel. No knots in between, no tying a top shot of braid onto another piece of braid. She's going to be sweet as a nut. This is especially a good technique for those guys using very light diameter lines because you'll find filling up a spool with 100 meters of six pound line is just not going to happen unless you've got some godforsaken Japanese custom design reel with a two millimeter deep spool. Okay, so now fully sorted, all the braid underneath, all the mono on the top. Now what do we do? We got to switch it up. Find something nearby we can tie this bad boy off to. Hopefully a solid stick. Now, we're gonna run this out. So the mono's on top, tied it off to a stick. We're gonna run this line out, cut it off, come back, and wind it in the opposite direction. Now I've got a little kid looking at me over there. A little kid and a dog over there. <laughs> I have to try and stop the dog running through the line. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the dog's about to run over the line. Hopefully he doesn't touch it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Damn, this reel sure has some line capacity. It's gonna be awesome for trolling. Whenever I troll, I have as much as I possibly dare to have out the back of the boat. Keeps the lure away from any boat noise, from your mates making noise, dropping beer cans in the bottom of the boat. Found it makes a world of difference. <laughs> Gonna run out of beach here soon. Okay, getting there, getting there. Boom, the end. Now, snip him off. So this is the braid end, mono ends way back there at the camera. Now I have to get back before any little kids jump all over my line and get it tangled. Okay. We are back at the start, back to the mono. Yeah. Trim him off my stick. Always take your scraps of line with you, you grotty bastards. All right, final step. We are gonna get our mono. We've run the braid all the way out yonder. Looks like there's kids headed this way. Let's get this over and done with. Might put it through the rod. Remember this knot will be staying on the reel forever also. 
lot easier to tie in mono than it is with braid. I don't know what this knot is called, but it seems to do the job. Nice and snug. And trim him off tight. Oh, there's kids at the line. Now, put your knot in the center of the spool if possible. And bring her back to daddy. Nice bit of tension on the line. And fill that bad boy up. Filling up beautifully and level. On comes the braid. So that was quite a bit of monofilament. There is no way you could just estimate how much to put on to fill this spool up right to the very brim. You get a lot closer than doing it by eye, especially with different line weights, different line dimensions, different spools on different reels. This is by far the easiest method to get it looking schmick, especially if you've got a little spinning reel for uh, light lure stuff. You put 150 meters of six pound braid on, there's no way you're gonna fill out a spool unless it's some sort of specialist equipment with a tiny little spool. So like this, you can have 150 meters of six pound braid and fill your spool out beautifully. So the line flies off it, especially with a spinning reel, you want it filled to within a couple of millimeters of the edge of the spool. So the line strips off a lot easier. Getting up to just on perfect now. And that is the end of it. We'll sort that without your finger in front of it. So, hope you liked it. Tune in next time.